Hello everyone, welcome to another Age of Origins episode at Wacko Rush Gaming. Age of Origins is a zombie strategy and tower defense game that you will love. Kill zombies, form alliances, command armies, and manage cities in this apocalyptic world to rebuild human civilization in this zombie survival MMO game. Many survivors have reached out for a quick and punchy beginner's guide. In today's video, that's exactly what I'm going to cover. If you like my videos, please smash the subscribe button, leave a comment, and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. Once Ginger has shown you some of the early ropes, you should follow the Doomsday Recovery Plan. It is just amazing and this glide path will assure you smooth growth as long as you follow the Doomsday Recovery Plan. Whilst you're following the Doomsday Recovery Plan, there's also a separate growth path known as the Growth Quest. However, I would highly recommend that you finish the Doomsday Recovery Path before looking to complete the Growth Quest Path. These two combined growth paths for all beginners totally mesmerizes me. It is so seamless and integrated. Anyone could quickly get a good basic grasp of Age of Origins with this path. I've added chapters in the description below, so if you want to jump straight into a specific topic, then feel free. First thing that I would recommend that you do is to buy your account to avoid losing your city. If anything happens to your phone or your laptop, assuming you're using an emulator, then you can access your account again. Age of Origins is very generous and gives 200 gold for the first time you bind your account. You'll get an additional 100 gold when you have binded two accounts. That means when you have binded two accounts, you will get 300 gold. Secondly, you will want to make farm accounts. The purpose of doing is to collect resources. As your main account focuses on building battle-ready troops, your farm account focuses on farming, so it can be looted by your main city. There are wheat, oil, steel and mineral. Steel and mineral especially are hard to collect. Steel will be available once your city achieves level 15. Minerals will be available once your city achieves level 20. This is where having farm accounts will help your growth path tremendously in the future. The more seasoned players in Age of Origins have many farm accounts. I would recommend that you should at least aim to have 4 farm accounts at most. And if you're like me and you're stuck for time, at least 2 accounts should be suffice. Mobility is an essential path to growth in the game and is primarily used to kill zombies. You will receive commander experience points when you kill monsters monsters and the more monsters that you kill, the more commander experience points that you will get. This is one of the most cheapest and most efficient way to grow your commander level. On the top left corner, you will see your mobility balance. Yes, it is small, but you should never allow your mobility gouge to be full at 100 out of 100. Always use them. Deplete them especially before you go to sleep. Fuel will be your best friend as, as there are many events early on that will give you good rewards for, for spending your mobility. Any exchanges to grab fuel is pretty valuable at the early stages of the game. I've spent zero money buying commander level packs and I'm ranked 6 in the entire nation commander level ranking in nation 799. As you're starting out, new players are not aware of how important to unlock the appropriate commander skills. I would highly recommend spending your skill points early on the development path, quickly unlocking the mobility recovery skills. When you've achieved this, you've not only achieved a 40% increase in your mobility recovery, but you will also unlock a one-time skill effect that will give you 50 mobility points per day. When you've used the skill, it will take you 24 hours before you can use it again. However, when combined over a longer period of time, you will be rewarded with plenty more commander experience points in the long run. Whilst I appreciate that not everyone will spend money, but there are two key purchases that I would highly recommend that you consider as a low spender. You truly need a second build slot, thus getting the Eternal Golden Hammer Pack is one of the best purchases that you can make. Then you should definitely buy either the monthly the Supreme card or the value card pack. This significantly reduces the cost of construction. There are mini rewards that you can grab daily as you complete the daily quest. I would totally recommend unlocking all the reward crates daily. If you browse through the quests, there are some truly simple quests for you to complete. Due to resource scarcity in the Age of Origins, there are many opportunistic players in the nation. When you're discovered to have a lot of resources, you become a target to these players. They won't think twice to attack your city and rob you of all your resources. So never Never unlock all your resources from your backpack. If you have a lot of resources and you're in a warm and green nation, then sheer you must. Once a prosperous and diverse city, many valuables were abandoned here and some unlucky survivors were trapped inside. You can explore daily for the chance to collect rewards and rescue refugees. I greatly recommend that every commander partakes in two ruins rally per day and complete two solo attacks per day. Early on in the game, focus on solo attacks on refugee rescue ruins so refugees joins you can increase the prosperity of your city. The higher your prosperity, you will get higher level of various stats bonuses. 
so don't miss out. There are 5 freebies that you can claim daily. Every day, just log in, you can claim rewards, so do it. Following this, go to Ranking and claim the crates in the Globe Ranking page. Next, go to the Nations Ranking and claim the crates in the Nation Ranking page. Then go to your depot and claim any free resources of your choice. Last but not least, go to the Black Market and sell or exchange unwanted items. With the monies that you get selling, you can buy items that you actually want from the Black Market. Finally, we've arrived to the last step. This was a tough one for me as there were a lot more things I would like to say. However, I decided to recommend that you should complete Infinite Zombies daily. Doing this daily will earn you TD coins, which you can use in Exchange Store to obtain precious materials. My top 3 picks from the Exchange Store will surely be the Power Ore Crate, Officer's XP and Titanium Equipment Alloy. You'll truly be amazed as how much this will benefit you in the long run. Before I go, one bonus item to reward those of you who are still paying attention. There is a mini game for more Commander experience points. Go to your profile, select settings and select mini games. If you have nothing to do, enjoy these mini games for some Commander experience points. Well, that's all folks. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please subscribe, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. Thank you. Goodbye.